Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Amon writing in with a question about needing a recommendation for a Nikon DSLR. Uh, here's the email we've got in. It says, uh, Hi, I watched some of your YouTube videos and really liked that you were helping people with your advice and honest opinions. I'm currently having a Nikon D7200, which is three years old. I use the 10 to 24, the 35, the 50, and the 70 to 300 lenses. My primary work involves product shoots, interiors, lifestyle, and portraits. I want to upgrade the camera for these reasons. Decreasing lifespan and resale value, lacking video capabilities, lack of advanced features like touch focus and tiltable screen. I need better raw, uh, raw file handling, fast shooting, battery life, nice in-camera video for vlog and travel videos. In my budget, I have the options of buying the D7500 or the D50. Which one should I go for? Thanks in advance, Amon. So, well, thank you for your question, Amon. Uh, interesting question. 7200 is a very capable camera. I really like it for photography. It would not be my choice as a video camera, which is, I think, what you're finding to be some of the limitations. Um, where you say the uh, the reasons you want to upgrade, decreasing lifespan and resale value. Um, yes and no here. Um, the lifespan and resale, uh, I'm not sure that's a reason to upgrade. If you've already bought something and you're still happy with it, just because it's getting a little older, that's not some a reason I would upgrade. I would need other reasons too. So I just wanted to point that out. I don't think that's a reason to necessarily buy a new camera. It's an acknowledgement that you're you know, your camera's getting older and that the resale value may be dropping, but selling it now isn't necessarily going to benefit you in any way if those are your only reasons. The lacking video capabilities, yeah, that is not a camera I particularly would want to shoot video with. It's got decent 1080, but it doesn't have a movable screen. It doesn't have a touch screen. It doesn't have good uh, uh, AF focus system for video, nothing comparable to Canon's dual pixel AF. Um, and then you say the lack of advanced features like a touch focus and tiltable screen. Yeah, which I was lumping in in my response to the video capability. So yeah, it doesn't have either of those. And um, something like the ADD to me is a much better uh, camera for something that you want to shoot photo and video with. Uh, now you're talking about better raw file handling, fast shooting, battery life, nice in-camera video for vlog and travel videos. Um, to me, uh, your choices here, you got the D750. I love the D750. It's a great camera, but there's no touchscreen and there's no 4K. If those are issues for you, and you did say that the touch screen and whatnot is, um, then, and if you if, if you want more video capabilities, which it seems like you do, then, you know, 4K would be one of them, I would think. So the 750 doesn't have that. The 7500 does have that, but it has nothing equivalent to Canon's dual pixel AF or Sony's similar system. In other words, the ability to follow you uh, smoothly and accurately during video focus, continuous focus. Um, it doesn't, it also doesn't have a fully articulated screen. So... Uh, my thought on it would be, honestly, if I was wanting to do what you say, what you need and the reasons to upgrade are, I would be looking at an M50 or an ADD. These address where you said you required nice in-camera video for vlog and travel. I would use either of those. I would probably go with the M50 nowadays. Um, yes, it doesn't have some of the more additional like the extra command dial and some of the extra features of the more pro DSLR, but it's smaller, lighter, uh, and it has 4K, and it does everything very nicely. So I would probably look at that, but the ADD is also a great option. You just don't get the 4K, but you do get more of a higher-end body as far as more pro features like the second command dial. The other thing you could look at is an X-T20, the Fuji X-T20. Great for video, great for photos, um, very high quality in both, uh, and I would probably get... Uh, an XT20 over both of those cameras based on the fact that you want to do some vlogging and some travel. I don't think you're going to be too happy with either the 7500 or the 750 as a vlogging camera. So that's my thoughts. I'm going to throw it back to our viewers. What do you guys think? Would you go with a D7500 or a D750 as uh, Amon is looking at? Or would you go with something else? Um, as I suggested, an M50, an ADD, or a Fuji XT20. Uh, I think those three are price competitive and give us what Amon's needs and requirements are specified as. Uh, but if there's something else you want to throw in there, by all means, let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you guys would do and why in the comments below. Always great to help out our viewers when they have a question. Always great to hear your feedback. Often you guys throw in something I hadn't thought of or, you know, just had a mental block at the time. Uh, so it's always great to get a more rounded uh, group of feedback for our viewers to see when they have a question. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your question, Amon. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.